Let's talk about five things successful people do before eight o'clock in the morning. But first, let me just say, this is the perfect time of the year for you to close out the old year and embrace the new year. You know, you've probably heard funny phrases like New Year's resolutions. Those are things that go in one year and out the other. Or statistics. There's so many different statistics out there, but the one that I've read says that 97% of New Year's goals go unfulfilled. That means only 7% of us are actually pursuing and staying focused on our dreams until the end. Another stat said that 30% of New Year's goals are broken in the first week. Well, I want this to be the year that you live your dreams. This is the year for you to develop personal growth in your life, discipline in your life like never before, so that you can come one year from now and say, look what God has done in my life. You know, I was listening to John Maxwell and he was talking about how people always ask him, John, how can I be more successful? Where do I start? What do I do? And he said, well, let me look at your daily routine. Let me take a look at what you're doing day in and day out because that's where success begins. It doesn't begin with all of a sudden you getting a phone call from a publisher. No, success begins the moment you start achieving goals in your life in your day-to-day -day living. You know, Jim Rohn made this statement that I think is so profound, and if you would just hang on to this one statement, I'm telling you it can change the course of your life. He said success is something you attract by the person you become. Success is something you attract by the person you become. He said if you want more, you must become more. Another guy said, if you don't have much, perhaps you haven't become much. Now, when I first read that, I was like, that's kind of painful. But the truth is, success is something you attract by the person you become. Well, you know, you've probably heard me share before how in 2002, which is now 12 years ago, I began a routine that I had no idea, never dreamed I would be sharing this simple and sort of ridiculous sounding routine with the world. And I especially had no idea that it would be preparing me for success. The five things that I just said that I'm going to do every single day, basically to get out of a rut, to get some sort of direction for my life, was number one, I'm going to pray. I just wrote this down. Number one, I'm going to pray. Whether that's worshiping God with worship music on, praying in the Spirit, reading a Proverbs, reading the Word of God, I'm going to do something every day to spend time with God. And there were some days I could only spend five minutes with Him. Some days it was 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but every day I will pray. Number two was to listen to a faith-building message. Now, you've probably heard that faith comes by hearing. So every time you hear a faith-building message, faith comes. Not only does faith come, but fear goes. And back then, I was so full of fear. I had fear of doing what I'm doing today, fear of speaking in front of people, fear about my future, fear about being able to forgive myself. Well, how do you get rid of fear? Faith comes by hearing the word. So every day I said, I'm going to hear the word. Number three was to read. I just said, I've got to start reading. And you know, you've probably heard people say that leaders are readers. So I said, okay, I'm going to set a goal to read for at least 10 to 20 minutes every day. And I would make myself do that. Number four, I said, I'm going to review my dreams and goals. Now back then, my dreams and goals were more like clean up the kitchen, <laughs> exercise, read, finish the book, goals like that. Now, of course, we have the Dreams and Goals app for your iPad, for your iPhone, and we're working on the Android version, but that way every day you can keep your dreams and goals before your eyes. And number five was to exercise. Now, I've been told, you know, there's a direct link between physical health and emotional health, and I needed a lot of emotional healing back then. So I just began exercising. Now, here's the key. I told myself, it wasn't up for debate. It wasn't a question, just like I don't, you know, there's lots of times I don't feel like brushing my teeth, but I do it anyway. Well, I got that determined where these five things were concerned in my life. I mean, the coldest day I remember going walking was 15 degrees. I was so bundled up, unrecognizable. I'm talking face mask, and my husband's giant extra large coat, but I was out there walking because every day that's what I do. Now that's a little extreme, but I was so committed to these five things. Well, like I said, that was 12 years ago, and here's the key, I haven't stopped. But you know, I had no idea 
that those five things were actually preparing me for success. And I want you to be thinking about what are five things that you can do every day in this new year that are going to prepare you for success, to live your dreams, to see more discipline in your life. You know, these are things that, you know, I'm not saying that exercise actually helped me become a better minister, but it certainly made me feel healthier, feel better on the inside. So what are five things that you could commit to in this new year? You know, I was reading from Forbes magazine. They wrote an article called Five Things Successful People Do Before 8 a.m. Now listen to this. It talks about how the morning is the most perfect time for you to begin developing habits in your life because that's when you have the most control over your schedule is right when you wake up and of course right before you go to bed. But it says that the morning hours, it's a common trait found in many CEOs, government officials and other influential people is using the morning hours to be productive. Margaret Thatcher woke up every day at 5 a.m. Frank Lloyd Wright, the famous architect, he woke up at 4 a.m. Robert Iger, the CEO of Disney, wakes up at 4.30 a.m., just to name a few. But listen to the five things most successful people do. Number one, exercise. Most people that work out daily work out in the morning. Now for me, the reason I stuck to the morning schedule was because in the evening, my schedule was too sporadic. There might be a basketball game, there might be dinner with people, or I would just be exhausted and I couldn't be disciplined. So doing it in the morning, you get it over with and you feel good the rest of the day. Number two, map out your day. The most successful people have a plan for the day. They don't just wake up and wonder what the day's gonna bring, they map it out. Now I do this the night before. I never go to bed without planning the next day. But this is what successful people do, is they live on purpose. And whether you're, ma you know, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom, but you have a plan every day. If it's to clean the kitchen, write that down. I will get this kitchen clean today. Number three is eat a healthy breakfast. You know, after all these years, I just now realized the word breakfast means break fast. <laughs> In other words, you've been fasting all night and now it's time to break the fast. Give your body the energy it needs by eating a good breakfast. Number four, visualization. That's the perfect time to spend in the morning thinking about your future. Or this could be your prayer time where you just take a moment to meditate, to think, to dream, to listen for God. And number five, they say make your day top heavy. What does that mean? Tackle your most difficult, most important things first. Instead of putting it at the end of the day because you dread it and you procrastinate on it, get the most difficult things done first so you can enjoy the rest of the day. So, I just wanna challenge you, develop some habits in your life. Just take a moment today to think of five things, and it doesn't have to be five, it could be three, it could be four, but think of specific things that you are going to commit to every day. And you know, the best way to start a habit is to say I'm gonna do this for 21 days and do not miss a day. And let me just tell you this, this is a very important tip. Don't compare yourself with the people around you. Don't look at all the things you're having to do and they're sleeping in and they're watching movies and they're not exercising. No, you focus on you. I love what Joyce Meyer said. She said the Lord asked her one time when she started comparing herself with all these people who weren't having to work as hard as her, the Lord said to her, Joyce, you've asked me for a lot. Do you want it or not? Well, you've probably asked the Lord for some big dreams and it's gonna require a big commitment. Where does it start? The moment you push that alarm button and you get your day started. So, develop a routine that will lead you to your dreams. Also, I wanna encourage you, if you're enjoying this, subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. I love to keep you encouraged. And hurry up and register for the next conference. It's later in January, 24th and 25th, and I would love to see you there. I'll talk to you later.